board now. Go okay. ahead. So we're using this new uh, Fire Cake by Phasmataz, and you're going to load your square brush. This is a number 10, back and forth. So you're getting some of the black, okay? Because we're going to blend that black into the red. So this is going to be the queen of hearts. We're going to start with a heart in the middle. So you're going to make the shape of your heart. And you'll see you can very precisely see that uh, black. But we're going to blend that. Okay, so now we're going to go a little bit in. So you're bringing more of the black in. You're bringing that shadow down. And now I'm just using the edge of my brush so I have mostly red in the center. Right? And I'm going to let that fade so you can see how it's blending into the dark. And I'm going to keep going over and pulling that blend a little more. Okay. A little more. Okay, so now we're doing the majority of this design with this metallic powder gold from Mayron. So I'm just using the lid of one of my face paints. You getting it? Mm-hmm. Okay, see the consistency? Okay. Okay, good. so for the Queen of Hearts, we're just going to pull some scrolly designs in and around, and that's all we're going to do. Okay, so we want to come across here. I'm going to pull down on an angle, and I'm going to come around and do just a little bend right there. Okay, if you need to, just grab some more gold you really want this to be a metallic look. So I'm going to pull a little more into it. Okay, and then I want to come up here and make it wispy. So I'm going to come up and do a curl. Okay, I'm going to reload my brush often because I want it, I want it to stay very metallic. So I'm going to do another scroll. And the trick with this is I want to bring it close to this line. And this is really awkward not being in front of it. <laughs> Have her turn towards you if you need her to. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's good. The line's hitting it so I can see it really nice too. Okay. And now I want to come up from the bottom. So I want both curls to come in at the bottom here. So I'm going to start with a curl here. And I'm going to bring it up from this side and curl it in, and then I want to curl the other way, so I'm just going to do a little one here, and curl it towards that one. Okay, and then I'm going to have more curls coming up the side of the heart, so I'm going to start with the outer edge of the curl, and bring it around, and come right down through her eyebrow to a sharp point there. Now I'm going to finish this curl by coming from the thick part, and bringing it in so it's a little thinner. This one up here I really want to be thin. So I'm going to swirl my brush to get it all towards the tip and try and get as much of a point as I can. And I really want to get a tiny one. So I'm going to come straight at her head and just use the tip. I don't know if you can see that, can you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. All right, now I'm going to start going out. So let me go over this one more time. My hand's blocking it a little bit. Okay. And now I'm going to come up here, come in, and go the other direction. And I want to make sure that I can see that inside scroll. Okay. And then I'll bring another one up and around. Make sure you can see the inside part of the scroll. Okay. All right, so now we want to come up this side just a little bit. So I'm going to encase the heart. I'm going to have one scroll here. Can you see? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me try to bring it down. So I'll start my scroll here and then bring it around. Okay. And then I'm just going to have wisps. So we're going to come from here off of this swirl and bring it to a point. And another one, I know I'm covering it, but I'll bring it to a point. Okay, now I want to carry some coming up here. 
and I want these to just go out. They're going to come out to some little hearts. So the first thing I'm going to do is come around and let it stop. Okay, so I'm coming from this one. And I'm going to stop right there because I'm going to put three red hearts right there. Then I want something to go above those red hearts. So I'm going to come with a much skinnier line. So I'm staying on the tip of my brush. And I'm going to come up here and I want to make a leaf. So I'm going to get a little fatter there. Do this where it shows. Okay, and then here I'm going to put a little point on that leaf and bring it into that. And then I'm going to have a scroll going this direction. So I'm going to scroll this way. You can see that. And then I'm going to drag it down next to this one. Okay, so I want to try and keep that a little bit thin. Let's see. Okay. All right, now, coming out the side, I want to come up over her eyes in a yep. different pattern. Okay, so we're going to make some wings coming out the side, almost like a queen's crown. And we want to come all the way to the edge here. So I'm going to start with the outer edge and pull it in. And what we want to have is a nice point on this. We want this to come to a point. Okay, so we're going to bring it in that way. And whatever we do to this side, we're going to do to this side, but we're going to have this side going up a little more and this one down because we put more of the scrolls on this side. Okay, so as we come down from this, we're going to flare this out a little. And then we're going to make another piece that's equal to it. So I'm going across the same length. I'm leaving a gap between the two. And then I'm coming in and getting narrow. So it's almost like a triangular shape. Then I'm going to come in here and just bring it to a point. And I'm going to paint over her eyebrow okay. just a little bit. Now from here, we're going to come down and just bring in one wisp this way. Thank you. And we're going to carry this down. And I went from skinny to fat. Okay, so I got this effect just by pushing down a little more and then pulling up. So you want to go, you want to vary your lines from skinny to fat. Okay, now. I'm going to bring another line down here that's a little more like um, tribal. Okay, so we're going to come down with a second one. And as I get to this right here, I'm going to do a little C. Okay, so we put that C in. And from here, we're going to drag that to a point. I'm going to bring this up and fill that in. Can you see, or is my hand mm -hmm. in No, it's actually okay. pretty good. The way the light's sitting in, it's pretty bright. Right. And I want to make sure this is ending also in a point. All right, and now I'm going to just, I think I'm going to extend this line. Okay. And then I'm going to, I have room in here to bring another line. So I'm going to start skinny. So I'll start in the fattest part of my line and bring it up to a point. Start in the fattest part again bring it down to a point. Okay, so we have this jagged look. Now I'm going to come over here and do pretty much the same thing, only instead of coming this long, I'm going to make this side a little shorter. It's going to come in more this way. Okay, so we're going to do the same point. Where I come fairly thick. Okay, and then I'm going to bring it down this direction and make this a point. Okay, now I'm going to bring it a little more this way. Where that stops, I'm going to start another right here, the same width across, and bring it into that point like the triangle. And then one more, I'll bring this down a little more. And then this one, which is gonna go right into her eye. Okay, let me just, okay. So now I wanna bring this thin line down here to a point. And then this one's gonna come down. I'm gonna get fat sooner and bring to a point, because we want this side going to be a little bit shorter than that design. Okay. 
Now I'm going to take the second line out here, bring to a point, do my U, and then connect it, fill in the triangle so that I have that tribal shape. Make this a little darker. Okay, and then I'm going to put the one line in between here. So it'll go to a point and then come, I'll drag it back this way to a point. Okay, so if you're at a private party it. and you have a little bit of extra time, you could also add some liquid bling. Now it looks fine just like this, but this gives a little extra three dimension. This is from American Body Art. Okay, so what we can do is we can begin to trace some of the gold highlights. So come around. And you don't need to do the whole thing. You can just do a little. And this can make your lines a little more petite. And when you're using this bling, you want to use it on the side. So you see how I'm holding the tip sideways and I'm rubbing along her skin. And you don't need to stay right on top of your design as well. You can also come in with this and go over your design. And you can do different, different swirls. And that really adds to the design. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can come over here and do a little more. And this side I want it higher on purpose, so we'll bring it a little higher. A little more swirls. Okay, and you can even add some to the middle as well. Um, I don't really want to, but... Mm. I don't know if I like it. But okay, and I can add some over here as well. So I can bring in some more swirls on the side. And I can bring some coming down. Same thing over here. Oh, here we go, some over there. I can even trace down. I can make more hanging on her side. So you just need to keep it thin. That's okay with the bling. So you can see this swirl design on the side. And then what we've done is we've added a little bit of glitter to our hair to give her a little bit of sparkle. You can do this just by poofing or dropping some over top of your princess. And you wouldn't do this extra step unless you're doing a private party. I would not do this at a festival with 200 kids in line waiting to get their face painted. But if you want to do something special for the birthday girl, this is a really nice design.